This is the name of the game! Saloon car. Things even already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. What if Sonic is actually here? <laughs> He's laughing? You're laughing. Sonic the Hedgehog is dead, <laughs> and you're laughing. <laughs> Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. What are y'all doing in my saloon? Peony, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. <gasps> There's red on that cup. Peony, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. There's blood. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but why are there three? Peony, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. All right. Clearly, we'll be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the ma machine. But why? We're gonna have to pay for that. I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me, except for Sonic. <laughs> Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I have on it, PCD. Distract Knuckles while he fixed Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! <laughs> Think? I got you, I got it, I got it, I got it. You will not defeat me! I will kill you! <laughs> the arcade machine is fixed! Tell us something mess and look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector, he's supposed to be in the library car. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector so you could get the highest score. Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Prove it! <laughs> Grr, Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Is it a common name? Think. I got well, it, I got we it. have the evidence. We can just show it. I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you while you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. Uh, don't tell, don't tell Amy, please. It is as you said, Victor popped in at the top of the air wanting to play the arcade machine with me. When he bested me, I... Mm, scratched the machine. No proof of his win. <laughs> I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? That's mine. Rouge was in here too. Ooh. 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 She just remembers like the film. Made fun of her game and left. She's hot. Oh, I'm just hot. <laughs> 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 oh god. Get her out of here. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That's not everything. It isn't Knuckles. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. <laughs> All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Pizza Me, but there is someone here that goes by that title. God. The ultimate life form. <laughs> <laughs> he is the ultimate life form, isn't That's he? That's actually one of his things that he says. <laughs> there, there's really someone here who goes by that? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, then Shadow dropped by. Played around, sucked ass, and left. He gave me this before he left. Shadow <laughs> told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors and what was Rue searching for? He never fired them and asked them yourselves. <laughs> I did not think I'd be doing the Tales voice this much. <laughs> <laughs> God. Everyone's Sonic's favorite cool. journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. Don't worry, Sonic, I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick, I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? It looks mighty sus, I see. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. A victor, the butcher, I'm licensed to handle raw meat. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm SBL, the poet. Pizza and I are to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy and everyone <laughs> leave the dining car? When we were all setting up, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where he told me and SBL to stay. Vector got bored, so we left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Where was Rouge? I want to date her. To see her lipstick stain on a cup in the saloon car. <laughs> Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, NO WAY! At the brochure stand over Whoa, there. Is that no way? <laughs> <laughs> but she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. 
After Rouge left, Shadow went through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. <laughs> he insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action. I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him, then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. With all these locked doors, it seemed Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library or the saloon car. We need to confirm Vector's reasons for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. Bookshelf. Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. See, these are Guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. A lot of these were uh, knocked out by the train speeding up. But Ruse pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. Maybe a gun. Oh, that was just to leave. Shadow supposedly walked to the library car before getting into the saloon car. So when Shadow left the library car, he locked this door in his way. How do you lock it from the outside? There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Bezoni and I are here to confirm two things. In fact, I love to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading the library car. Vector, we'll start with you! Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Plus, we're instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon card, so I figured I'd go check it out. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading! But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Must have been a good read. What was the book? Mirage Express Manual, I guess. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, would you like to ask a few, a few questions about the manual? Pizza if you don't mind? Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Espio was true. <laughs> was the only one to see you reading. Okay, P and E, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. But what? Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What has this to do with anything? Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading this book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car, honest. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish? to not notice Shadow's return to the library car. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Right here, right? Yeah. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. That confirms it. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because the <laughs> bookcase is in the way. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. So the artwork isn't done, I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Like, why is he so high? <laughs> oh? It seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SVO. Hello, everyone. Um, it's been a few days it since has. we last recorded, and uh, since then we reviewed some of the footage, we've had some discussions with our team, and uh, we've decided that Tony is no longer allowed to voice Tails. <laughs> Okay, the investigation continues. That's not too annoying, right? Right? Ooh. I love gambling. <laughs> oh, a casino oh. car. 
that catch see now kind Cheers. of scene. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she would search the train for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? I work here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Peony, did you have an opinion on this? It's time for a five-figure discount. Now we must plan. Access to the Fabergé chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. I think you should distract the guard, please. Sure, fuck it. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> My life, I've never met, let a single person down. I won't flat fall day. She is like the princess from a different dimension. Ugh. Will the guards distract Rouge? How will you get the access card? Pick their pocket. She did sneak that $20 bill out of the pocket earlier. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Pity, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. Yeah, it's probably gonna be that. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Honestly, I've seen a murder today, and that's the worst thing I've heard all day. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. It's illegal. It's the death penalty. <laughs> the guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. Oh no! One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have Tails disable them? Yeah. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Oh my god. I was not expecting yes. this. <laughs> I knew the plane would go off without a hitch. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Hee <laughs> hee! Ow! It's here! <laughs> I have it! All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? Only three of these eggs were ever made. Each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Tails, you open it. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. All you need to do is twist it. Oh my god, a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Bruce's face. It's a pipe bomb! <laughs> We need to dispose of that egg now. Just throw it in the safe. Again. <laughs> dispose of it after all our hard work. Rouge. <laughs> fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? Oh my god. <laughs> Go and lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine. It's going back in. I can't. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. We don't have to matter this. There's something else. Some of these are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the egg to stop. Stop! <laughs> that did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, PD. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Pini, I think you're onto something. Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Oh, um, what efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. Or would he? So if we were out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. I hate that we just... Letting it just happen was the right answer. <laughs> the egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Ian, look what's inside. Uh, Drip. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy too. The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé the egg secret. I wonder if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? 
What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Where you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. At the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The poker chips. That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that always causes trouble for us in Sonic. Every poker chip I've personally seen has Eggman's mug on it. I'm not surprised to see this here. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, look at the little chow band. Look at the diamond, like Minecraft. Oh, I didn't even, yeah. <laughs> look at the little chow on the little cello. That's adorable.